Good morning. <laughs> Today is a nice day, or it's a new day. God is going to bless us. Now, before you take your seats, we go to First Corinthians chapter one, verse eighteen. Before you take your seats, no, look on the board. It's on the board. It's on the board. First Corinthians chapter. It says, "For the preaching of the cross." is to them that perish foolishness. Do you understand it? When we are preaching the cross, the message of the gospel to those who are perishing is what? We are seeing here the dead side. Then it says, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. Go on. Then it says, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. You know, the methodology of man. There is a way that men want things to be done. There is a way they want to see God. There is a way, you know, the, the methodology. He says, I will destroy it and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. That is, the highest man who says he is a professor. He says, your understanding is nothing. Wow. Your understanding is nothing. Now, he says, where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Who is a wise man? Then it says, Have not God made foolishness the wisdom of this world? Hey, what are you talking about? God has made foolishness the wisdom of this world. Then look at what it says. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom, they did not know God. But it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that so it means the gospel does not appeal okay the message of the cross will not appeal to you know the so called wise people then look at what it says verse 21 sorry 22 for the Jews require what the Jews they look for what a sign and the Greeks they seek at all so Greeks have noted for wisdom when it comes to wisdom, bam, they are there. They are philosophers. But look at what it says. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews is a stumbling block. Unto the Greeks, foolishness. Eh? The one who is wise. This one is foolishness. Then the Jews, stumbling block. Because they are looking for another Messiah. Okay? But look at what it says. But unto them which are called, both in Ghana, Africa. Oh, come on. It says, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power and the wisdom of God. Now go on, verse 25. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Do, do, do you understand it? Do, do you understand the scripture? The what? The foolishness of God is wiser than men. Now, when I want to break this one, we cannot even close. The things that God tells you, they look very, very foolish. It does not appeal. Okay? For instance, I wanted to become a journalist. Then, from school, they say, go into ministry. Foolishness. Does it make sense? Oh, foolishness. It's total foolishness. If I call it Arab, nonsense. The, it says, because the foolishness of God is wiser. That is even if God is foolish at all. That even his foolishness is wiser than the wisest of the wisest. Go da ga da ga da. Praise God. Look at it. Somebody toiled all night. And now God says, Take the same net you were washing. Washing means discouragement. Because he said, We are toiled all night. Then Jesus said, Place it here. It doesn't make sense. That's stupidity. It does not even appeal to fishing ministry. It, now, if you are into fi fishery, you realize that where you are washing the net, no fish will ever come there. But the foolishness of God is wiser. You understand it? No, listen to me. Sometimes the economy is so silly, bad, and you've even gotten a visa. To go for greener pastures. 
or maybe going to look for a white collar job. But the wisdom of God can tell you remain in Ghana. It does not appeal. God is looking for people who work with him. Enough of religion. Okay? I was making a statement on radio this morning and I said, somebody was been running for the past one week and when I got there to pray, I heard a voice say, give her orange. The foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of man. It does, does it make sense? Orange and running. If an orange is inside, it's a purgative. If you want to walk with God with your five senses intact, you will die before your time. God is calling mad people. Crazy people. He says, you are gathering money. Somebody can show a testimony here that she has been gathering money to go to school. Is she here? Uh, Sarah's wife. Are you there? She's not here. Is she there? Okay. She's been gathering money to thousand. So that they were raising money. That thousand. She wanted to come. Then the thing said, remember you are, you are raising this money. She needed more than I think she needed about close to 5,000 or so to pay for her course. So she had been gathering. In fact, that, that thousand alone took her many years together. Kadang, 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 small, small. Kadang, kadang is a house. Gathering small, small. And then nobody should sit down here too. I'm driving something home. Then he, she dragged her feet but all the same, she came to drop it. You know when you drop it, like sometimes you are a fool. Foolishness of God. But as soon as she dropped it, by the following day, somebody called and paid for all the fees. <laughs> See, if you carry this Bible and you are poor, then you don't know the Bible. You are religious. It's you. God can tell a banker who dresses in suit every morning. He will tell you, stop the banking, go and sell charcoal. Foolishness. That there is your life. The foolishness of God is what? The foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger. That even if God told lies to you, it will still work for you. Yeah. That even God deceived you. Because his weakness is stronger than men. Go on, verse 26. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise men are called. Your problem is you want to be wise. Being wise is in your, in your own conceit. You believe that you are doing the right thing. So he say, you're calling, brethren. And what are the brethren? You and I. You're calling, not many what? Wise men are called after the flesh. Not many what? Mighty men. Sometimes some people, when you hear their English on radio, you say, now, where should I have a friend? Hey, have a friend who share. You have a friend with Papa. Amen. You are there. Oh, you have a friend with Papa. And then somebody who speaks good English. Oh, no, Lord, some German. We crawl all Then it says, Not many mighty, not many noble. It's interesting to know that you see people at this uh, uh, raw, you know, the WW. Many of them will never ever be born again and die. But mighty men, strong men, men of stature, men of substance. Then he says, But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. That is to say, the foolish things he tells you, that those are the things that will confound the wise. The things he tells you and you will obey them. The things he tells you to obey them. The things God will tell you, they are not spectacular. They don't appeal to saints. But the ring is your life. Because there's a way that seemed good unto a man, the 
end thereof at the ways of death. Praise the Lord. And then after we related under the anointing. And then all of a sudden the land has become their own permanently. Going to whole area, I think whole down. I was going to dig a spell. I carried because carry things. Going to display that who I could dig. And whilst we were going few meters to Ho, then the voice of God came. May you hear the voice of God. Yeah. And then I saw in pictorial visions, he said, use only ashes. Don't dig. Ah. Well, we bought the pickers already. Kotabashata. <laughs> And when we did it, the results too dramatic. The reason you are still where you are is because you'll be figuring things out. I'm, I'm not trying to figure out what I'll eat. Figure out what I'll do. Figure, figure out. Figure out. You'll never become a figure. Can you imagine? Somebody wanted to see, came to Jesus. And Jesus spat on the ground. Whether that saliva he pasted or not, we don't know. But he spat on the ground and then he started missing it. Missing it and plastered the face of the blind. Then he said, Go wash in Siloam. And then he started saying, Hey, is it the same Bible? What is the difference? Civilization. Then it says, verse 28, the, and best things of the world and things which are despised had God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught the things that are, that what? Verse 29, go, that no flesh will glory in his heart in his presence. What God would do with ordinary people like me and you, Kadiba go shut down, is going to baffle generations. What God will do with your life is going to tingle the ears that will hear it. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2.14 But the natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of God. Say what? Listen. The natural man. Natural man means ordinary man. Natural man means lesser mortal. That is why you are born again. So that you'll be able to understand the things. So it says, the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. They are what? They are foolishness unto him. For instance, they tell you, oh, you are fasting. Hey, who will tell you? Foolishness to him. Foolishness to him. Amen. He said, She should be a ufia. Who basso had a beer? Hey, hey, she be yo. In soon, baby, a ufia, uke, jumadia, on cash. I don't know that people move from central region, western region to Accra for work on constant basis. Then one Sunday for God, they complain with it. That is the devil. God has not worked that way. Maybe Alfred will say, I'm sorry, dear. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually what? Discern. May God give you discernment. Listen, the voice of God might not be appealing. Sometimes he will tell you to plant a church where it's, though, it's as though nothing works. When I was going to plant uh, the church in, uh, we started at uh, Coco Memory, every of my friends told me that no church will grow. There is something that backs the voice of God. I don't know your level. Let's look at God. Let's look unto him. Let's follow him. Don't die with those who are dying. God wants to preserve you. 
He brought you here this morning so you hear what I'm saying. That the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit. The natural man, the ordinary man, the man who reasons in the natural, the man who, how can this be? See, I don't know a man. He, he doesn't receive it. God gives you a promise. Oh, how can this be? How can this be? Who told you that is ovulation that will make you pregnant? Your finances can be low. If only you are able to hear what God is telling you, something will open up to you. No, I'm telling you something. Go seek. You are sought God religiously. So he didn't, he didn't speak to you. Talk to God as your friend. God is not that dangerous God. You read about it in my book of Bible stories. Where you say, Moses, Moses, Moses. Tell the children of Israel. Tell them, tell them. No more, 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 more. I will destroy, destroy, destroy. God does not love Jesus more than he loves you. Jesus knew his ways. We don't know his ways, that's why. It is 1 Corinthians 3, 19. Let's see if we can get. So, it means that if you want to hear from God, now, look at what it says. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Oh, you want to run away to America and start making it, all of a sudden, you see that it's not working for you there. Oh, my auntie invited us. He even gave us an invite. Oh, my auntie, my auntie. By the time you go, you stay there three days. Your auntie is angry with you. He take it on. The wise. In their own. In their own kind of thing. Oh, I want to just do some few degrees. And oh, then, you know, I'll do some few degrees. I'll do some few degrees. And then, you know, from there, I'll enter ministry. You grow old. By the time you finish and you start, nobody will come. You are an old man. Now the youth want to identify people who can run around. Abio. No, look at it. Look at the age here. What is the age? It's only few people who are from 50 going. Only few. The rest of us are under 50. It's because of me. If I was if I was very, very old, walking. Yeah. This people would have become like a uh, aged home. And then we'll be reading books like nearing home. The best time to ever do anything that God asks you to do is now. Okay, let me let me give you well, let me give you people who have put my name there. The best time to ever do anything was yesterday. Today is already late. Tomorrow is not possible. Procrastination. Are you blessed at all? Okay, so uh -huh. the foolishness of God. Twelve thousand people. Oh no, I think how many? Five thousand people. And they say, how many fish do we have? Three fish and two loaves of bread. Does it make sense? You are you are, you are crazy. Even the wisest economic minister will not make any sense. He said, bless, bless it. And then when they started distributing, they were distributing, it was not finishing. They said, finish. They said, mm, I won't finish. Why? Because there's a void behind it. There are many of you here, you think you're going to be old before you are rich. No. I prophesy over you. I prophesy over you. I prophesy over you. In the twinkle of an eye, may God change your life May he change your destiny. The God that changes destinies. He carries the poor man from the dust. And the beggar from the downhill. The beggar. The beggar will beg till he's go to the downhill to be begging. But he says, he takes them out of that place. He makes them to inherit. Listen to me. You are listening to a millionaire. I'm telling you. The wisdom of God has no make sense. For instance, talking. Talking. Please be seated down. Thank you very much. I love all of you. Thank you. Talkings. Talkings. Praise the Lord. Tokens. Tokens does not appeal to the mind. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. If you want to know God wisely, you become a fool. He taketh, don't forget the, the scripture. He taketh the wise 
in their own craftiness. Craftiness. So today we are people in abroad who cannot come out in the daytime. In fact, to them, everybody is a policeman. Do you know you can build your world and the whole world will become very small for you? <laughs> Nobody's pursuing you, but you are pursuing yourself. <laughs> oh, fire. May God Almighty say to you. Yeah. Sometimes somebody can look so beautiful, and as you are praying for marriage, if, if you are not praying, you hear anything. Anything goes. For instance, if you are not the prayerful type to hear messages from God, you won't hear any message. It's normal. So you join there's something you did in the Bible school. Okay, today I'm going to teach this. Amen. Many of you move from denominational religious prayer and begin to deal with issues as the Lord opens your eyes. Sometimes in warfare, God can even ask you to carry a table knife and begin to do warfare in the house. Of course, I'm not saying that you go and point the, the knife because I'm people to are extremists. I'm not saying I go and point the knife to anybody and say, uh -huh, the pastor says, The wisdom of God is wiser. It's wiser. Hallelujah. Is it not wiser? He says, As the heavens are far away from the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thought, if you are sure God asks you to do something, do it. It's a matter of time. He will bless you, He will honor you. Yeah. He will openly honor you. People will mock. See, the ways of God will be mocked by men. The fact that God spoke to you does not mean that people will not laugh at you. Hey! Amen. Can you imagine Sarah who said, God will give me a baby, 90 years old, the mockery. Say nice woman figure. And as you are praying, the Holy Ghost who whisper to you, she is not the one. Sometimes you ask God why, you won't talk. God is not calling dignities. God is not calling people of repute. Look at Philippians chapter 2. It says, Jesus made himself of no reputation. He made himself of no reputation. It's you who want to be a man of repute. A woman of great and high repute. You want to maintain your standard. You know, I can't just lower my standard. I can't just lower my pedigree. I can't do business with anybody. <laughs> Jesus made himself. Okay, so, so he says, Let this mind be in you, which was also what? In Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Who being in the form of God, he thought it not robbery to be equal. That, that word means that he didn't think that God was cheating him. He was God in the form of God. Submission does not mean that he are cheating you. But made himself of what? No reputation. God is looking for people who have lost their dignity. Because sometimes the things God will tell you, you'll be surprised. But if you realize that you are a man of reputation. Amen. For me, I can walk barefoot anywhere. Remove my shirt. Oh, crap. He's talking. And because God knows I'm like that, he is comfortable to talk to me about some things. But if you want to maintain your dignity, what will people say? And that has always been the problem. Not what you are saying. What others are saying. You can even pray to impress people. And God is not doing the prayer. Oh, you don't know? Oh, you can pray to you. Sometimes, God just wants you to say one sentence. Come out in Jesus' name. But you want to impress people. I enter my father's house and I decree now by the son of Elohim. Sometimes just one way. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hey, may you not give a man of reputation 
prayer to pray when you're about eating. You, you won't end that prayer. Or oh, some of uh, vocabulary. Oh, Father. In fact, they begin to even thank God for the farmer. <laughs> hey! Huh? You've never been hungry before? And then you call a religious. Anytime you say religious brother, don't ask him to pray. You eat that food. Though. You thank God for the land. The day the land was created, 6,000 years ago. Thank God for the kitchen, the cutleries, the onion, and mention them by name one by one. For me, by the time it's amen, I've started eating. So sometimes you want to even do business that will commensurate with your look. I'm a graduate, you know. I want to start selling perfumes. When God says, start selling um, cassava dough. No, look at you. With your hair like this, God can tell you, I want to bless you, but you have to carry tomatoes on this hair and start selling. You bind that voice. <laughs> one one bank manager was asked to stop the banking and come into and go and sell charcoal. He was owing everybody, including himself, <laughs> as a banker. <laughs> so he struggled with it. But when he saw the poverty level, now he was really saying, Whatever I'll do to come out of this mess. So he removed the coat, removed the tire, went into charcoal business. Less than two years, he built about six study buildings. Because the word of God will not come back void. Hey. Do, do you understand it? You can be impressing people. Many of you, you have no business in, in the office. No business. You don't have anything there. But you want to maintain. I know I'm talking to somebody here. Some of you, you are skillful. The skill you have. But because you saw somebody in town. Or somebody worrying, you know, this oh. Oh, me quit, Juma. Oh, me name Bruni. Me name Bruni, me name Juma. Oh, me name Bruni. Some of you, you didn't even learn hairdressing, but you can do it very well. Do you need an angel to tell you again to go into hairdressing? But the wisdom of God is foolishness to man. Praise the Lord. Ah. So we have over 70,000 people unemployed. Graduates. Let's gather them and teach them. But will they come? Mm -mm. You let's announce on radio right now and say we have a job for everybody. Hey! Muslims will also start calling. <laughs> All of a sudden, they are also listening to Sunny FM. They will tell you they are constant listeners. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. May it work for you. I say, may it work for you. Yeah. It might not start in a spectacular way, but you will get there. It might not start. There's a woman I admire so much in uh, Makola. I used to buy these uh, hardwares, toiletries, and all those things from her. No English. She sit down at one place, and the money she puts. This one here. When this this one is full up, they take it to the bank. Another one comes, and when you get there in the morning, she parks uh, Land Cruiser at her side. The son we also selling there has an S class there. And now the woman went for another Porsche Cayenne at that place. They have, yeah, she sells these uh, toiletries and all those, all those tiles, those things, everything you see there. And it's working. 
she has positioned herself strategically. Only in Ghana, when you are doing well, they say juju. He's not juju. He's not everybody who is in juju. Why don't you sell things that are relevant also to the market by wisdom? How many people have dogs and you are selling dog chain? No formal education. You call her, she has business acumen. But that woman like this should be lecturing people on business. More than all these people, where you see big people, they are writing books. Nothing. Nothing is in that book. Ten, ten ways to make money. It's a lie. You read that thing, nothing's happening. People have theory, they don't have practicals. I don't want you to. I want, you know, 10 kids to check growth. <laughs> one day, Bishop Oedipo said he was teaching on church growth. Then some one pastor asked, Are these the things you are doing? Because we are also doing the same thing you are saying, but we are not seeing anything. Then he said, Grace. <laughs> There's a place for grace. Praise the Lord. Okay, so may God tell you some crazy things and then you do them. And sometimes the reputation might even start between you and your, your wife. The things God wants you to do, sell. Your wife might not like it. You are bringing the, the standard low. Because your wife also wants to tell other men, other people that, that my husband is in a bank. Or my husband is a, he's traveled. Yes, they will want to talk about uh, abroad, America, rather than Togo. Do you understand it? So, you need to break the reputation between the two of you first. If not, you could be a stumbling block. <laughs> but women, I love them for one thing. When the thing is working, uh, oh, cry. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> but if it's not working, Honey, no, no, Honey, no, Amen. So if you are if you are a man, you will need to stand by your belief system and do it and do it well. It will work. I say it what? No, it will work for you. Praise the Lord. Because when the thing is working, your wife will follow. Ah. Oh cry. Amen. They will meet you at the gate. But if it's not working, they will tell you your food is in the kitchen. They will serve you and stand, even sit by the table as you are eating, you are conversing. But by the time they are telling you, oh. one, uh, somebody, you know this Nigerian people are funny. In one of their films, somebody was looking for fish in the stew. Couldn't find anything. Then there's a woman. Where's the, then the woman said, is it the one you gave me money for? <laughs> so he said, look, look for it. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> it's a message. Amen. So there is a way that seems right to a man. Somebody came to me and had all awesome problems. And when I wanted to pray, the Holy Ghost said, let her fast three days. Ah. Does it make sense? Are you not killing the person? So the person said, Pastor, man, you know, sir. And you realize that, and as you are going, man, yeah. <laughs> but less than the three days could have done. She had a dream and saw an angel on the second day of the fast. The angel placed the hand on the stomach and says, you are healed. God does not make sense. In fact, he has stopped making sense. Do you understand it? Look at the sea. They saw, they saw the sea. Then he said, why are you crying to me? Go on. Go, go, go for it. You think the voice of God is gentle? Sure. They were crying, the children go, he, 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 look. And then they saw Pharaoh. Pharaoh also coming. You know, Pharaoh was an institution. So if you see Pharaoh, you have seen everything. Ha! Huh? Pharaoh was also coming. Then they were crying. The poor put in prayer. He said, Moses, go forward. Hey, yeah. And they did what? 
they went forward and as they moved forward then he said what are you holding in your house he said normal rod God said oh no normal again oh. this rod is the same rod listen to me if God is with you whatever you have is enough one city is enough two cities enough in the name of Jesus so I pray today that God will give you wisdom. Some of you, you can cook very well, but you want to be known as a career woman in the office. Yeah. And then you go buy food that will contaminate your womb permanently. Do you know that food is sold everywhere in Ghana? In fact, even Kali. Uh, oh, I was, I was even shocked that people sell in the cemetery. No, you have reputation, but some people don't have reputation. Do you know that some people buy in the cemetery? They buy and sell. The way you understand spiritual things, they don't understand. Food is what? It's food. But those workers are these, I would the cemetery. How do they eat? And they buy food there. Some even cook in the cemetery. You know, people who are dead don't need to die again. <laughs> May you be a dead man for Christ. <laughs> I said be a dead man for Christ. Because sometimes you are too much afraid. That is why the spirit of death, even some of you are saying again, of course, of course, of course, of course. Okay, you see, my own teachings they want to overlap here. But that's as it, but of course. <laughs> of course. Of course, if you go sleep on any on somebody's tomb for fresh air, it's a message. <laughs> but the point is that don't be afraid. When we're children, they told us that if you were walking around the cemetery, you don't need to even think. Because a wind could blow you there, carry you there. Or they told her that if you pointed your finger, your your hands could just remain there. Then there were these fresh mangoes. KJB, the freshest mangoes were in the cemetery. Oh. The problem is that you know too much. That's why. Because if you didn't know where the mango was coming from, you ate, you slept well. But as soon as they tell you that it's from the cemetery or it's from a, a particular woman. So some of you are operating in suspicion not in the cemetery. In every they say what it means is that if you kill an animal and you want to see the way they dress the animal it will not appeal to you. So the Bible said, whatever is presented to you, don't ask questions. Whether the mango is coming from uh, Osu Cemetery, mango is mango. But of course, at some high level of spirituality, okay, but when you are at a, a level already, they are looking for you. Why not? <laughs> but we curse witchcraft. Amen. Die by fire! I didn't say go and sleep in the cemetery. Did I say that? to show that you are a brave, a brave warrior. Remember what you are dealing with in your family already. Already you didn't even go there and they are calling you come. <laughs> and then I believe that there are people who for the next 10 years must not attend a funeral. Just say for the next 10 years no funeral. That even your own funeral you attend. One, one preacher man, he has been dealing with the spirit of death and then he said one day he said he doesn't even make sure that you attend his own funeral. Praise the Lord. So, may the wisdom of God begin to speak for us. May it begin to work for us. You can wake up in the morning and start doing something. Let the blessings of God come upon it. The foolishness of God is wiser. Please interpret for me. The foolishness of God. You say we should be doing interpretation sometimes. The foolishness of God. Beloved in the Lord. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> is wiser. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
than the wisdom of men. Bro, nipa nyansa. So the highest wisdom people go to learn. Nyansa na nipa isu yano. Now, there's a, another scripture that it brings the 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 wise the counsel of the wise to not get it, get it for us. I think is that Isaiah? Is that Isaiah eight nine? You look for it. Whatever it is, get it for us. Then the strength of man is okay. Then they say the the weakness of God is stronger than the strength of man. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. It will work for you. I say 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 it will work for you. Like a woman was praying, Oh Lord, what is the next forward? I my Lord, my job. Which job are you giving me again? Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, speak to me. Then she heard a voice. Start cooking rice. And sell. Ah. Woman of repute. And do you know what the voice said? The voice said you go to the schools. This uh, nursery. Get a garden. And start selling. Mm. So she swallowed pride. May you swallow pride. Some of you don't want to swallow it. You want to vomit it out. And then, less than three months, there was a turn around. Another school asked her to be selling. So, with some time, before some time, she had to get a lot of workers who will not be distributing the food. When God's hand is in it, it will work for you. Amen. Money has no respect. Hallelujah. Look at Ali Kodangote. Is he handsome? Money means root. Even uh, Bill Gates. You look at the Bill Gates. Ah, is this the whole person? But they have it too. Face. No handsome. But pocket handsome. As the, as the next lady around you, pocket handsome or face handsome if they want. <laughs> okay. He said, but the, the head is long. The, the woman said, once there's money, they will do operation. <laughs> Can you speak in tongues? One of the ways we receive the wisdom of God, do you have it? He says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none hot effect. So, he says, Now, when you go to another scripture in the, Old, in the New Testament, he says, Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Where is the philosopher? God has made, can you get it for us? go to philosopher, you get a word for us. In the New Testament. Amen. Praise the Lord. And now, that even brings me to science. What science says looks very, very appealing. But those are facts. That is not the truth. The fact that you see water coming out, that's not your baby. You have you are not miscarried. You don't need to call me. Oh, only one person is clapping. Where is the wise? No. Where are the philosophers of this age? Go into the epistles. He's in the epistles. Praise the Lord. Then from there you go to where he says, beware of all signs. Beware of signs. Because sometimes when they diagnose you, whatever they are saying is a confirmation. Is that not so? It's your daughter. It's a confirmation. I'm feeling it already. Fire. Say every witchcraft power. Die. If you are sick here, put your hand on that place where you are sick. I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every demon hold. In the name of Jesus, be loosed now. Be loosed. I say be loosed. Thou are loosed. In the name of Jesus, die by fire. Any demon assigned to encroach on your health, on your dignity, on your life, receive fire. In the name of Jesus, say I declare now every witchcraft power over my life, over my destiny, Receive fire now. Now, whatever you are hurting, place your hands there and begin to make declaration. The, the declaration is not for to be making stay. Let it go by fire. 
Oh, let me hear you. Be, be, I just, the Lord is telling somebody, Nim sko da ba ga da ba shata. Le ga da ba ho shanta la ba ha. Le ka da ba ha shanta. Le ga ba do bo shanta la ba ha. Ba ra ko shanta la ba ha. Mando la ba da ba shanta. Mande la ba ka da ba ha shanta. Le bo la ba la ba shanta. Menda la ba la ba ha. Le ra ko ba shanta. Manda la ba ko shanta. Ambo la ba da ba de. Ka la ba da ba shanta. Le ka ba la ba ha. Kabola bala bashande, kebala bala bahashande, bala bakusha. Colossians chapter two. Okay, it says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain what and vain disease after the tradition of men." They will use philosophy, they will use psychology, they will use all manner of things to 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 deceive you. Come on, amen. The blood inside you is working. Your blood is flowing well. I can see from your heart everything is working. It must work for you. The pain you feel there tells you that it was overworking. That's why the pain is not disease. You are not sick. I say you are not sick. I say you are not sick. I say you are not sick. Your sperm is not low. I curse with crop. Die. I don't know who can believe for me. Who can believe? Who can believe? Your womb will carry children. I say your womb, your womb, your womb, your womb, your womb will carry what? Your womb will carry children. You have come at the right time. Let me place my hand on you. What did he say? He says the God that commanded light. Yesterday, say uh, uh, what was coming. Which water? Don't say the water. Water. There is room between water and the water. You don't have a problem. Go. I say you don't have a problem. You see, many of you are trained to believe in the doctor more. Oh, family doctor. Traditional doctor. And many of you, before you realize, you become a herbalist. Amen. Beware lest any man will do what will spoil you, will attack you, your health, your children. Through what? Through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, now what it means is that after the tradition means that when you are having heat on your body, it is called diabetes. Tradition of men. When your eyes are red, it means you didn't sleep well. When you have itches on your eyes, it is called Apollo. When you have a swelling on your finger, it is called Whitlow. When you are walking in a certain way, it means that your blood arteries they don't flow into the electronic cells. <laughs> then what? Deceit means deception. And sometimes somebody can school you in deception. In fact, then you pay for it. You call it first degree. Oh yeah, you making sense. <laughs> you pay for it. And then your health is deteriorating. But you come to God and God says it is the opposite. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say man da go da bashanta ka ya da kusa landi griba do shanda. We command a release now in the name of Jesus. Hey, the wisdom of God is stronger. There was a baby I wanted to pray for one day. The baby was so sick. So sick so sick. I wanted to pray for the baby. And you know, normally it's binding and losing. Or you know where we are coming from. Don't sleep. This thing will help you. As soon as I lay hands, then I heard the voice. The voice said, they should give the baby vitamins. 
Oh! So it was vitamin deficiency. <laughs> but if you can't hear from God, uh, hey, yeah, come on. God is a God of variety. There are diverse operations, but the same God. And then, quickly, they, they got the, the baby. Less than 24 hours, the face became correct. Now the baby could see. <laughs> More fire. Then, go to Timothy. He said, beware of what? Signs. Everybody should read that one. Beware of what? Oh, Pastor Ima. You are four people. Be of what? Look at it. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. He says, Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to what? Thy trust. The word of God, keep it at thy trust. Then he says, Avoiding profane and vain what? Babblings and oppositions of signs, falsely so called. Now, there's another place that says, Beyond signs. I want that one. Praise the Lord. Keep that which is committed to thy trust. You can't die before your time. You cannot die before your time. Every handwriting against your life. Bible said that he spoiled principalities and powers. He triumphed over them in it. He said having spoiled principalities and powers. The book of Colossians. He spoiled principalities. He spoiled powers. And he triumphed over them. You can't die before your time. Every of your nerves that are not working, they must work. I said they must what? I said they must work. I said they must work. I said they must work. I said they must wear. Hey, they must wear. They must wear. Koda Bashanda. Recently, I slept and I, I slept wrongly and my neck pain. Oh, I see the thing was turning to the other side. I didn't pray because I knew it can't be there. I said it was not me. Somebody said I should check. I said no, it's not necessary. Checking is the problem. Amen. Before our sister at the back there, uh, Sister Abigail, where are you? Abigail. Okay, Abigail. Abigail used to have a, a machine that was determining her pressure. What uh, it's called temperature. How many of us remember temperature? Temperature. Amen. Temperature. So every minute you she will try it. And then so she will smile when the thing is good. Then after two minutes, she will be down. So now her happiness was in the hands of the gadget. <laughs> oh, is that not true? No, share your testimony. How long did you use the gadget? Sorry? Almost a year. You were you are moving with the gadget everywhere. Every day. At everywhere you check you check it. Now the first time you met me, what did I tell you? Eh? That was the first thing I told her. Because of long as you have that machine with you. Who will pray? Who will fast? It won't work. They got the machine. <laughs> I don't know who has a machine as we are talking now. Your machine might not be the electronic one. Your machine might be the stick. Something that you draw straight from. Some of you have made yourself an old lady at once. Because you saw somebody on TV. Oh, you know, using a stick to walk. Oh, let me also use this stick. Or oh, some people are even wearing spectacular because they saw somebody wearing it. Oh, lady, yeah, yeah. Spectacular, F.O. Lenses. That's what you want for yourself. F.O. F.O. And even the kind of head you have is not everybody's style that will suit your head. Don't you know that? So somebody did the head and did the thing like this. So you two are going to do the thing. You, people will run away from you. Some of you, the day you cut your hair, all in the name of undercut. 
That will be the, the end of your life. So you go to the salon, okay, do it the way she has done it, you know. Meanwhile, the head is different. Your own is coconut, the other one is purple. Today, what is happening here? Amen. And even earrings, it's not everyone that will fit you. Because, you know, when you go to Ethiopia like this, the Ethiopian people, because of their height, there's a particular earring they wear, very, very big, and it's so beautiful. Amen. But when you wear the same thing here, they will suspect your witchcraft. <laughs> so, culture differs as we what? As we travel. Praise the Lord. For instance, in the winter when you wear suit, is so nice and so appropriate. But Ghana, we don't know the difference again. To the same that somebody was going to uh, a resort center, resort, beach, and he was in suit with portfolio. Oh, ho. Oh. Man, man of God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord make you stronger than your enemies. Let me pray for everybody. Please raise your hands up as we pray. I think we have brought the lectures to an end. The Lord is telling somebody of a problem in your breast. Please, if you have a problem with your breast, be on your feet. Let me pray for you. The Lord Jesus is going to heal you. Another person here, you have a problem in your, your teeth. Your teeth has a problem. Just be in a feeling pray for you. Lake Gabandi Gadosha. Now, there's somebody here for some time now. You'll be having bad dreams consistently. Rise and let me pray for you. You see, as the word of God is coming, you are getting healed already. Now, there is about three people here. You have a problem with your backbone. Your backbone has a problem and you've been afraid that it could result into paralysis. Be on your feet. Let me pray for you as well. Father, so I pray for these ones. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke witchcraft. I curse every assignment of death. Be healed now. In Jesus name. Now, please sit down. You have a problem. Sorry for my language. Your anus. I don't know whether it's a boil or something there. Please be on your feet. Let me pray for you. Don't, don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's like pass. Father, I curse it now. I rebuke it. Go in the name of Jesus. Kabado shut up. Sit down, sir. You're healed. The miracle working power of God will heal you. I know this name. His name is Jesus. Kadabo Shata. God is spirit. So he's going through the spirit to heal you. Now you have a problem with your knee. About five people here, in fact, more than five. You have a problem with your knee, specifically the right knee. The right knee. The right knee. If it's the right knee, be on your feet and pray for you. Your right knee. Kadiba Shanda. Father, I curse it now. I rebuke witchcraft. I rebuke every hole of the devil. You will live and not die. I curse death in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you had a dream. Please sit down. You had a dream that they put you in a coffin. And then you saw that you died, but you could see your body. And then your spirit was outside. But you could still see that it was you. Stand and pray for you. The Lord is delivering you from death. Come. Come. All the people like that, come. Let me pray for you. God, they both shatter. You see? So God has a way of moving every day. He shouldn't be one way. God do bashanda. Mama, let me pray for you. Someone will give you a car miraculously. Let me pray for you. Yes. Something big. Live and not die. See? I'm, I'm not just seeing only you being taken. 
When I lay hands on you, then I saw that the thing is about your husband as well. They want to kill him. Because I saw that we went to uh, the family house, the mother's house specifically, and they, like the, you know, normally it's not the mother's house, they, they have to lay someone in the state. But I saw you there. So that it means that there are forces that we need to deal with there. I curse them now. Now, you have a problem with your bones. Your bones. Your bones. Your bones. You, you feel like, like romantic pains. Like, you know, this romanticism. Your bones. I rebuke it now. I curse witchcraft. I rebuke it. Madam, God is healing your eyes, okay? When you stood out, then I saw that they were healing your eyes. Oh, you know, I said they. Because I saw two angels. Shut up. Let me pray for you. They wanted to stop your work, like do you find this fever all of a sudden. But God is promoting you. God is promoting you. What was meant to be evil will stand out for promotion. I bless your life. I bless your destiny. I command a release in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are somebody in abroad. You are somebody in abroad. Who? Whether I am to or whoever, I see favor coming. But, but I saw like a very close, you know, somebody. Favor is coming. In the name of Jesus. Kadabashanda. Madam, let me pray for you. You know, everybody standing there, they say, Pastor, he's a pastor. You know, sometimes God will re echo the thing, re echo the thing, so that you'll be too sure, okay? Uh, I know you they call it Pastor Sena, but I'm telling you that God said, You're a pastor, okay? I release you now. In the name of Jesus. You are never behind in life, you are not behind. Kadeba Shata. You know, there's a song sung by Hannah Mafo. You are not behind. You see, when I place my hands on you, I saw this sensation at your back, like pain, but I saw like fervent heat heating it up. Kadabo Shata Kaseya. Be healed now. Loose in the name of Jesus. You cannot be sick. You cannot die. Powers of death. Reverse now. In Jesus' name. Oh, I saw your spirit move back into you. You are healed. Go. Ladobo Shata. Yeah. Your husband is he the church type? Is he the church type? No. Because of the nature of his work. That's the nature that will kill him. Eh, but he should make time for God. Okay. Eyes are on him. Because I'm seeing uh, people, you know, eyes. Eyes and these eyes are not their family eyes, they are close friends' eyes. It's like he's taking too much. You understand me? Okay, well, well, me, I'm telling you what I'm saying. Okay, by God's grace, you have known me for a long time. I won't say anything to impress anybody. What kind of impression? I think Quran will be mommy saying, Ah, so tell him that she come and pray for him. Okay, sometimes when we receive direction for people, come and pray, then they make mockery of the thing. Because they have seen Obinim and Koso, they think everybody is looking for money. Or sharing little number. No. I curse witchcraft. He won't die before his time. Okay? Okay? He will not die. He, he, is he a dark man? Dark? Dark. Taller than you? Yes. Because I've seen that. I, see, I just saw him in the coffin. I'm not joking. I command the healing power of Jesus. Be healed now. So you pray for him, okay? Mom prayer. Watch it as he attend. But he has, not, he has not really committed to. Tell him to come here. Things are happening here. Okay? I, I see pain all over your shoulder here. This way. Then I saw the Lord heal you. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap for her. He will not die, okay? So pray for your husband. Okay, you should come around. And now God will shut up. In the name of Jesus. Join the prayer warriors, okay? You know the warriors? Uh -huh, the warriors, they, they know you. You cannot see them, they can see you. <laughs> so join them. As soon as we close my church, uh, Pastor Eben will come and pick you. You join the prayer. You are the only hope of your family. You are the last hope. No, I heard the word so clear. Now, the Lord is healing your breast. I see like pain. Could abash shanda gradia. Lady, has the pain started in the right breast or it has not started yet? You are healed. You you feel there's something. You are healed. 
I curse witchcraft. You, you are the only hope. Oh. Where your friend Abu Abu Shah Abu Shah then Kotochiana Kuda Gada. Hey, go, demons, live a life. They wanted you dead, but you can't die. They wanted you dead. Your person who Debbie. Let the altar here cry against those idols. Go, 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 fire. Go, go, go. Please connect, connect me, okay? Don't say that today there is a free, free service. <laughs> we command and release now. Be real. Uh, may God surprise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody told you, who told you you died before December? Fire. It won't happen here. It won't happen here. Loose. Go on. What are you at then? What are you at then? Eh? Oh, you are at church here? Oh, really? When did you start? But you are not consistent. Has he been coming to church? Oh, really? Eh. Connect, okay? Because I see you are not connected. Connect. Be connected by fire. So, you to join the prayer warriors. They know you. You don't know them yet. Let's get prayer for these people. Okay? Your life will change. You'll be a pastor, okay? Uh -huh. Go and be a pastor. And go and join a Coco Memory Pool for us. Can I pray for you? I see like a bullet against your heart. I cursed again my heart. Go! Lose him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mama, you won't die. We cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You won't die, okay? Uh -huh. You know, you know the song I'm hearing? Ninina Asa. What is Sam Hyan? Sam, Sam. Oh, Oza. Ah, Nini. Ah, Sam. What is you? Oh, Johnny Mo. Hallelujah. Where you? Where you? Where you? This Yadama. Where you, where you, and it shall down so well. Amen. 